ফ্যান বন্ধ করে দিয়ে যাও সমস্যা নেই দিয়ে হ্যালো মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস গুড আফটারনুন হাও আর ইউ টুডে ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার ঘরে বসে শিখি পপুলার ফেস আই থিঙ্ক ইউ আর ফাইন বাই দ্য গ্রেস অফ অল মাইটি বিকজ ইউ আর স্টে অ্যাট হোম উইথ ইউর গার্ডিয়ান্স ওর প্যারেন্টস ইজ ইট রাইট মাই রাইট I think you say yes ma'am so can you remember what we read last class i think you can remember before going to start the class i want to say a rhyme are you agree to recite with me i hope you say yes ma'am okay now let's start Hello, hello, hello my student, happy to meet you, happy to meet you today. Again, please re re repeat with me, okay? Hello, hello, hello my student, you say hello, hello, hello my teacher, happy to meet you, happy to meet you today. How do you feel? I I think you say nice. Is it fun? Just for fun. Okay. So, last class we read about which topic? Please try to remember, recall. Yes, you are right. We we read the topic hello. We read the topic, hello. We also recite a rhyme, hello, hello, hello my teacher. Okay, let's see. What can you see in the screen? Please think alone, think. What can you see? What have you seen in the picture? just think one minute okay i think you have completed so there is a two person one is a girl and another is a boy and there is a man this is a language club this is a club this is a club so today our topic is again hello same topic and i am i would like to teach which grade grade 5 subject english and unit 1 page 4 okay so our topic is what hello hello okay this is a language club so i think here is some new words i i think you are not familiar with this but i think you re you read the topic before in your school because this is the first unit you have completed already you have completed this topic now i am going to revise again because you have completed your book in the meantime because this is the august month august month so you have completed your english book so i today i would like to teach you unit one lesson five and six four five six and page which page four okay this is a club so i think this is not familiar to you this is the new words which is first one is language club though you read this topic before my class language club it is a language club language club means bhasha club bhashar jonno ekta club toiri kora hoyeche this is a language club 
language club please pronounce with me language club language club language club this is a language club it is a language club our school has a language club in this way you make sentence so please tell with me language club this is a language club this is a language club it's a language club our school has a language club now practice in the meantime i am practicing with you practicing with which language club practice practice again and again practice chorcha practice 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 keep practicing keep practicing please say with me repeat after me practice practice keep practicing keep practicing practice practice makes a man perfect practice makes a man perfect okay now let's have a look another word young men young men young men please pronounce with me young men please pronounce with me young men repeat after me young men repeat after me young men he is a young man 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 that means andrew smith is a young man andrew smith is a young man please repeat with me young man repeat with me young man repeat with me young man he is a young man he is a young man okay good boy good girl good girl and boy okay my beloved students and next one is gentleman please repeat after me gentleman repeat after me gentleman repeat after me gentleman and this smith is a gentleman his name is andy smith andy smith is a gentleman he is a gentleman you are a gentleman you are a gentleman okay gentleman young man in the meantime we have learned some new words so i am going to read out this text you follow me only listen okay at first after that you will read with me okay now put your finger on the line and take your textbook okay page number 4 please open at page number 4 shima and tomal are in the town hall language club where are they town hall language club they come to the club to practice speaking why they are here to practice speaking english they listen to cds and watch dvds in english or speak english with friends who are with them they are friends today there is a new person in the club today there is a new person in the club he is a young man he is a young man he is reading a book about bangladesh which country bangladesh yes shima look tamal what that gentleman ho ho sorry who's that gentleman do you know him tamal yes that's andy smith his name is andy smith he is working he is working with an air at the bookshop he is working with an ngo here i met him yesterday at the bookshop shima maybe we can practice our english with him we can practice who's andy smith tamal good idea i will introduce you to him i will introduce you to him come with me come with me come with me please now repeat after me and read out the text with me okay please read and listen carefully shima and tamal are at the town hall language club they come to the club to practice 
speaking English. They listen to CDs and watch DVDs in English or speak English with friends. Today, there is a new person in the club. He is a young man. He is reading a book about Bangladesh. Shima, look, Tamal, who's that gentleman? Do you know him? Tamal, yes, that's Andy Smith. He is working with an NGO here. I met him yesterday at the bookshop. Shima, maybe we can practice our English with him. Tamal, good idea. I will introduce you to him. Come with me. Come with me. I think you have also completed this topic and read out this topic clearly. Okay. So, what is the language club? Town hall. The name of language club is town hall. And who are practicing? Shima and Tamal. Who is the gentleman? You say, of course, Andy Smith. He is also a young man. What is the NGO? Non-government office. So, they are introduced with him. For why? Practicing English. Practicing language. Which language? English language. Because we are Bengali, we can speak English. We cannot speak English friendly. We have to speak friendly for we need a club. Because you are very young students. So, now I have three questions for you. Please take your pen and pencil or copy book and copy book, copy. Please try to answer this. Where are Shima and Tamal? Where are Shima and Tamal? Shima and Tamal, please try to write down this answer in your copy. Let's see. Town Hall Language Club. Where are they? Shima and Tamal are Town Hall Language Club. Where are they? Town Hall Language Club. Yes. Now again. Number two, why do they go there? Why do they go there? Please try to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why do they go there? Okay, have a look. To practice speaking English. Why? To practice speaking English. To practice speaking English. Again, who is the new person there? Who is the new person? You probably say the new person is Andy Smith. Obviously, you say, not probably, the new person is who? Andy Smith. The new person is, who is the new person there? The new person is there, Andy Smith. Okay, have you complete? Please check your answer again and put tick marks, put tick marks. Town Hall Language Club to practice speaking English. The new person is Andy Smith. The new person is Andy Smith. Okay, now I want to check your learning. You can, you have completed your text. Now I want to check your learning. So, I want to check by the true or false. I write down three sentences here. First one is Shima and Tamal are in the school. Write the following statement which are true or false. Which one is true? You write down true. Which one is false? You write down false. Which one is no, 
true you also write down true okay true or false shima and tomal are in the school where are they please try to remember town hall is a language club town hall is a language club number 3 he is working with an ngo he is working with an ngo please write down i count the time i give you 5 minutes okay For not 5 minutes 3 minutes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 Your time is over. Please try to now check your answer with me. First one is Shima and Tomal are in the school. Where are they? Is it right? No, you obviously tell me it is false. They are in the language club, town hall language club. Where town hall language club? Shima and Tomal are in the town hall language club but here is the school not the school so write down the answer is false second one town hall is a language club town hall is a language club is it right you obviously say no ma'am is it right yes <laughs> right town hall is a language club okay write down true number 3 he is working with an ngo ngo means non government office is it also true i think you are also right first one is false second one is true third one is also true okay very good students very good excellent now for you one day one word please write down one day one word copy today's date is 18 8 2020 okay the word is bookshop you want also see the picture this is a bookshop this is a bookshop 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 okay pronounce with me book shop book shop book shop b o o k s h o p b o o k s h o p book shop i went a book shop yesterday when yesterday gotokal i went a book shop yesterday today i want to go a book shop today I want to go a bookshop. I bought a book from the bookshop. Okay, in this way you make some sentences. So today's word is one day one word is book shop. Book shop. It's a boyer dukan. Yeah, why boyer dukan? Book shop means boyer dukan. Book shop. Book shop. Book shop. I went a book shop yesterday. Okay. Thank you my dear students in the meantime we have read out the topic hello and this is a language club we read out this topic by a dialogue okay and i think you can understand you have understood also so i have a homework for you you will write short paragraph i mean five or seven sentences it's okay about your school language club about your school language club if you have any language club you write down this topic about your school language club how many sentence five or seven sentence it will be right okay and never forget to whatsapp me because 
you are not my facebook friend how you will conduct with me so have a look here never hesitate to whatsapp me o one six seven o five seven five o two five this is my whatsapp number if you want to know something if you have any query please whatsapp me and if you have any questions you also you can also whatsapp me if you want to submit your homework you can also whatsapp me never forget it and never forget to wash your hand frequently and stay in safe with your guardians or parents okay and keep practicing keep practicing okay happy learning bye bye see you next class Thank you.